Yeah, I think Emily's here now. Making scrambled eggs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and send it out. It just got sent. All right, is anyone not ready? Good. Nikki, good? Okay. Sweet. <clears throat> Plan the United States federal government to substantially reduce foreign military sales of arms by substantially reducing its United States Africa Command military training missions of African militaries. Contention one is stability. Scenario one is Somalia. U.S. military presence in Africa is almost entirely centered around training operations. That's uh, my and 13. My missions are carried out below the railroad. Almost all the missions of Africa are there. Advise us to centrate African militaries to take part in the combat. And many uh, African countries are going to use our interest in high profile U.S. presence to focus on operations developing indigenous capacity and U.S. interference results in massive instability. Removing presence is key to sustainable peace. And Pierre proved that South Dakota in A28 Washington has been added by maintaining control over the Horn of Africa. Manifest the repeating intervention of Somalia. The Somalia, the Somalia the invasion has huge sense of the country whose wars over the rebellion against the U.S. leading to deaths of thousands of Somalia. After decades of military involvement, the situation remains unstable. Somalia's only hope for sustainable peace lies within the national union absent the U.S. and that escalates Somalia into a generational conflict. That's Christian. And then 19, Trump has quietly, uh, quietly escalated to find Somalia. This is the foreign policy failure and progress. Intervention of Somalia should be uh, shut down before it spirals into a generational conflict. This war is now escalating. Do we want to uh, do this? Somalia's government on job for it. That is exactly political stability while contributing to scarcity, uh, security of American people or Somali people. And Somalia has become the most violent country in the world in recent years due to political instability. That's a sign tend to. No country has been uh, more impoverished than Somalia. Somalia. I can arrive comic two decades of conflict with state collapse and we transnational governments of the federal the government established in 2012, the roadmap was a civilization reality came to us, people quite different. As Somalia experienced the most incidents of armed organized and the, uh, violence against the civilians in the world, Somalia has become Africa's most violent state of 150 unity armed states activated in Somalia. This increase is due to proliferation of militia. Somalia's authorities are focusing on political stabilization, rebuilding state institutions, improving economic resilience, and reducing poverty. And while recent data is unavailable, at least 4,500 civilians were killed in 2016 alone. That's about news in 17. More than 4,500 civilians have been killed in Congo and Somalia for 2018 2017. Also, it responsible for more than 60%, claim mutual 30%. And the state actors, including the army and the police, 11%, 12%. Undetermined. Only local responses solve. Somalia can overtake their own training effectively. African training programs are failing. Both domestic and foreign agree, uh, experts agree. That's um, Ahmed and 18. Somalia's by position to take responsibility for the country. Small forces are capable and can ready. Uh, handle from Amazon. Lack of coordination. Uh, Trainer countries so lead to poor, uh, poor results. International actions spent decades trying to build an effective national with a national force with low success. Here's uh, GSA required and one few external providers. Macro level training soldiers receive, which undermines efforts of building unified force. Scenario two is the Sahel. Africa has been ramping up training measures in Africa's Sahel region, ignoring the way those militaries abuse their power to sustain authoritarian regimes and instability. That's temporary. 19. U.S. African is giving up their largest exercise taking place in Burkina Faso, a country played by a deterring their security and human rights violation committed by U.S. allied force. Air attackers on all the rise in security. Of course, having access to extrajudicial killings. This week, the uh, Chadian military captured 250 rebels. An example of Western countries helps to extinguish rebel groups uh, who pose a threat to authoritarian regimes. The U.S. are uh, supporting dictators who seize in power, order to maintain its uh, semblance of stability. The U.S. military plans to partner with the Africans to help them along all the U.S. and linking the, the U.S. units uh, with allied militaries for continual training and instability and political violence in the Sahel causes thousands of civilian deaths and millions are displaced each year. The problem is getting worse. Countries are paying us for security assistance instead of providing social services for the population that's been at 6.7. But uh, violence in the Sahel has never spread so fast. The UN said that uh, one of percent of crisis, the number of people uprooted in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger has increased five folds in, in the last year. More than 1,200 civilians have been killed in the last year through May. Uh, 400 million people are displaced by the violence inside of the state funds uh, uh, from services like healthcare and education funding very rarely transferred from social spending, security spending, and the aggregate issues. Libya is, uh, cannot tell the difference between military vehicles, cars bringing food aid. The workers having increasingly become the target. And best data shows a 300 to 7,000 percent increase in civilian fatalities in the Sahel uh, from last year. That's a in 19. Eclat has recorded a, a massive spike in deadly uh, violence across. Across the Sahel, conflict in Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso is a major, a major driver of the escalation. Civilians have been in the face of the burning violence. Fatalities targeting civilians in 2018, 2019, average in 7,028 percent. Burkina Faso, 500 percent. Niger, 300 percent. In Mali, violence shows few signs of stopping. Eclat is the highest quality, most widely used real time data analysis source on political violence around the world. And climate change makes these conflicts uniquely volatile and increases escalation. That's special. And nine, previous level international cooperation will continue to provide even formal engagement by governments, particularly states coming to blows. Possibly, a plan is attempting to gauge the danger, but resources escalation will contribute to a violent incident and extensive 
I do an extensive statistical study determined that a counter of factors triggers interesting conflict in the country's face of high probability engaging in fictional and military disputes, uh, mis- disputes rowing water uh, demands and quite a great discussion hiding the risk of planes will uh, become militarized uh, the conflict and cooperation often coexist not only collaborative acts like, and faster than the acts that's in church and the contentious underlying issues internal wars have killed three times more people in interstate conflict are also far more common and it can be st- destabilized into the world orders international ones determined study determined that likely that countries uh, would fall into, this, uh, into civil war increased by more than a half and that half solves even if it's not the silver bullet for stability robust data shows that African training has a substantial negative effect on the factor underlying stability and violence through Africa that's felt seen in 18. The Congressional Order Service notes that in large groups preventing local backlash against government Western countries, foreign buildup can strengthen the authority regime responsible for a serious violation of human rights. Look at the U.S. and partisan is you know, telling scholars that the U.S. military engagement and partner forces almost created into long-term stability, increased the probability of military who using data from 189 countries over a 39 year period. Found training alters balance power between military civilian authorities, increased the likelihood that security services will attempt to violate other I use so why U.S. administration continue to invest in expanding Africa. Campbell describes the phenomenon of securitization of U.S. foreign policy. The temptation turned to military whenever crisis proves irresponsible to the policy. No, Trump shows little awareness of trade offs between authorizing and increasing involvement in more vigorous civilian strategies based on data. Also, make these ask a question about whether this year's threat justifies continuous military role in Africa. But as to that past history suggests that the U.S. military is not the best institution to address continuing conflict and instability on the continent. Contention, too, is our heuristic. Our interpretation is that the 1EC should be evaluated as an isolated artifact. The negative can only weigh off into the 1EC specific epistemology and action, not external structures or representation. Debate over international policy is necessary to solve global crisis and provides an, an essential counterweight to government propaganda that enables reckless foreign policy. That's Walton 11. There's no shortage of probably lower problems, social science, studying depth, conflict, economic development, terrorism, management, and professional world economy, climate change, and environmental degradation. Great power robbery spread of WMT and independent academic community is essential to of official efforts to shape public understanding foreign policy given the information asymmetries. The obvious the interest for retaining a public support is hardly surprising leaders and access to input as well for support of a specific policy. He's telling out realized alternative voices are unique to challenge the conventional wisdom and suggest different solutions are uniquely positioned to challenge the prevailing narratives of policy. No rationales and bring the knowledge and training to debate about vital policy issues. Debate has exposed errors and errors and correct steps for fostering more effective policies. Engaging the scholar community is essential to help healthy polity. It is highly desirable for scholars to play a significant role in the public discourse. Key world issues academic research can help also make a big uh, in the sense of trends and create the test theories. The leaders can use uh, can use to choose among uh, policy instruments, academic theories on, on how policymakers and entity event facilitate formulation of policy alternatives. Academic scholars are in an ideal position to develop new concepts and theories to help uh, understand complex changing of the world. And policy training is critical to producing effective foreign policy. Uh, scholars focus on theory and generalization ensures it will be dismissed. That's Walton 11. The gap between uh, ivory tower policy rise because academics focus on developing generalization. Policymakers public are, are preoccupied in individual cases. Scholars are delighted whenever they identify a powerful general tendency, but policymakers are, uh, may be more interested in figuring out how to overcome general tendencies. You're worried that the case might uh, hand might um, uh, hand might be an exception. Possibly, often find academic scholars find value in the scholars that was scholars with methodological sophistication. Allows us alone tells us that relatively little about value and sense of particular awards. Scholars privilege in methodological sophistication. Why did the gap between advertiser policy and the public sphere to address this uh, goal give brighter way to policy relevance? We could encourage students to help real world policy debates and identify the dispute that drive policy disagreements and determine the truth of our app on a sliding scale. Our specific conflict analysis is good and necessary. Macro level depictions uh, fail that context. Incomplete or imperf- imperfect epistemology is not a reason to vote negative. Imperfect but specific analysis is better than none at all. That's and three conflict analysis to study the causes and dynamic the conflict is key to establish the linkages between the identifying and switching dynamics at a national level may be different from those of your guys. Looking at each element with the help to develop a picture of the context. Even not thinking is required. Analysis can never be exhaustive nor provide abuse of uh, absolute certainty. Conflict dynamics, such conflicts, and of all time for any analysis. Analysis, nevertheless, such a finding analysis, no matter how imperfect, is better than no analysis at all. And specificity trumps generalities. Robust studies prove looking at specific contextual factors is necessary to di- diagnose and predict the conflicts. Overarching theories fail, and our predictions and solutions are better. That's Williams and uh, 12. The assumption that armed conflict received is highly engagement in the scientific community is uh, growing. A micro-level centered approach uh, on conflict includes attention to detail and advanced incorporation of the analysis considering to uh, contextual information without which causal explanation can be misconstructed and centered on data. After giving advance the ability to build policy communities to react to the conflict and create early warning system, this uh, approach feels important advances. First, it becomes clear that no two events are the same. Second, uh, different types of events that make up the conflict preserve variability variability are used to compensate for consideration of all possible mechanisms and such advances that there are more than one mechanism that may be at work and that specific events uh, make up the armed conflict vary with each mechanism. A single measure of that uh, summation is inappropriate. Our effort really events heading and outcome specific region are, are required to arrive at reasonable predictions for the consequences of armed conflict. The micro level event center approach is a uh, opportunity for tremendous advances and cultural one you see a cultural change in the one you see verify our truth plans as fuck and ten times gravity back to you and also on are real and exist independently of the discourse the only explanation is a, a, a success of science is theories refer to these real entities which is independently of human experiences these uh, procedures are oriented towards the reality post positive provide in social sciences the numbers of the object realist and it does not follow the structure complexion our creation of social science or simply constructed through ideas since we are born into a world of structure which precedes us we are trying to strive to independent existence of social structure on the basis of their pre existence we can recognize that they are real on the basis of the cultural power they have a constraining effect on our activity mark the card activity all right i'm good good yeah okay uh so your cards talk about supporting authoritarian regimes and the effects that that has in terms of domestic politics in africa i'm wondering what the metric is for what defines an authoritarian regime okay irregardless of whether or not we have made a claim 
that like authoritarian regimes are a huge cause of that. It's just the idea that there's a significant amount of violence and data connects between AFRICOM and that violence. So it doesn't matter what our interpretation of an authoritarian regime is. If we prove Well, it does so sort of matter because your evidence describes that the that we're supporting all of these bad authoritarian regimes. And that may be true. I'm just trying to determine how we know which regimes are authoritarian and which ones are not. The one you see doesn't take a stance on what, uh, what quantifies as an authoritarian regime or not, because it's not relevant to the one you see, nor the solvency of the one you see. Because we have isolated two specific regions. We're not saying that we're going to solve authoritarianism writ large globally which means that it doesn't matter if we haven't given you the definition of what the authoritarian regime I'm is. Not, I'm not link fishing. I'm just trying to figure out like what the AF does. But uh, I guess let's, I, yeah, we'll, I can, we'll talk I can about that if you want. Let's do, let's do like more definitions. Um, what's the threshold for instability? Is the United States unstable right now? Uh, we don't take a stance on whether or not the U.S. is unstable. We okay, have read how do we, data that says that Somalia is unstable right now. There are deaths happening, a litany of deaths. What does it mean? Okay, how about this? What does it mean for Somalia to be unstable? Right, so our evidence does outline multiple things. The Val News evidence says that 45 to 100 civilians have been killed because of the conflict that arises from instability. It also lists things Okay, like, I mean, I'm sure like like literally 10 times as many people have been killed in the United States today. So like, obviously that's not the right, only okay, metric, right? That, that will be a link of omission. Yes, we're not going to resolve like things in the U.S. No. because the topic is about selling arms sales to another country. But all <laughs> the arguments that you might be like fetching for right now, Nick, is that it, it wouldn't matter at all in the future because we've we've okay. All right, back to the original question: Insta in instability. Okay, the first metric is civilian casualties. What's the next thing? You said there were a couple things. Civilian casualties. Uh, okay. They also say that we remove social services. Instead, the people locally are focusing on security spending, which means that. In comparison, there's uh, there's like no healthcare, et cetera. They have a lack of like housing, water supply, things like that. Should we, uh, should, 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 is, is there an, uh, so you've said there's an ethical obligation to sort of like, you know, intervene, not intervention, but like, have, you know, to, we to. We have not made an ethical obligation claim. We have made a claim as is. There is instability and violence happening in Somalia and in the Sahel. People are dying. We have ha data that links that instability to AFRICOM which means that nothing broader than just data says AFRICOM is bad. Thus, we should just try to remove AFRICOM because that is a good option to resolve instability in the region. There's your two AR. <laughs> Do we need prep money? No. Okay. I sent the one in C. It's one off. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to Ethernet. Um, so, Everyone got it? Anyone not ready? We're good. Okay. Wait, 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 Bunny. What's the order? Is it just the K and then case or just the K? There's no case. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have reached the end of geopolitics, robots and technology have changed the scope of human subjectivity and our ability to conceptualize state behavior. The realist paradigm is dead, inaugurating a techno-political empire in which power becomes naturalized in the objects around us. Technology is combined to secure the international world order within a broader paradigm of technological reason that seeks a complete synchronicity of all matter. This new computational approach to politics has transformed Africa into a phantasmic playground of the necropolitical West region, a geopolitically deprived of being that serves as a terrain for the experimentation and production of subjectivity for modern coloniality and lays the foundation for all modern destruction. Work 16. There was not the fantasy to share by the left and the right that the states under 
child like a word will come to approximate the development for the side really do belong to a world of signification that only has a unity identity thought and act have been attempted to the reverse direction that I think political community state is coming to resemble the ones they've colonized either discourse of African liberation and national self-determination or the neoliberal success have replaced that colonial imaginally press and presence can have a quite integral relation with each other Africa that appeared in the colonial imaginary is multilateral and for human is a place world historical uh, uh, experience and not Africa the condition by which love is incapable of general its cultural and their present existence is the same as it always been moment makes Africa the location most imaginary place under the self-creation of the very colonized and people claims that an act we colonize the people of a heart with the being species Africa's the mediation that enables the West to see this on themselves conscious give a public account of being subject to the Africa's where just things are Africa lacks rather than being a single and unused social theory that is the first industrial relation in Europe is a default model link between modern and rationalism in the West of Europe some more than contingent and made a subset spatial type world scheme of modernity would distinguish our from the previous age is contingent powerless is distant is it citizens is contingent where it builds itself in the guise of arbitrariness and the absolute power gave to get death at any time accomplished its own work through this property their right for retired to be exercised as a right to kill and invest Africa with death the colonizer cannot recognize himself or herself in the eyes of the colonized but the colonizer remains in colonial discourse and apparent part of the madness of threatens all domination the affirmative indoctrinates a new Malthusian anticipatory regime for Africa or Mara wherein a preemption logic is extended into climate and health we will witness Africa's development into a new mobile command center for the Pentagon and the blurring of humanitarian and military missions that lays a foundation for global expansionism under humanitarian and Hartman 14. Mara creates a bridge between post 9 11 politics and uh, terrorist speculative preemption of the greater threat the greater risk of, the, uh, of an action even if certainty remains preemption is now moving beyond terrorism to health and environmental threats uh, disease and climate change Mara himself are going to leave the idea to to focus preemptive security Africa is a vulnerable uh, region for excellence and again is exercising authority over de of development and sustainability intelligence calls for the development of systematic strategy for wanting to threat uh, climate change want to move away from the reinforcement of humanitarian agenda good intentions only go so far when the global ruins of US dominance and the global countries locked in a perpetual state of war defining climate change as a security threat as well shift, uh, shifting the defense against associated stability operations this preemptive logic is premised on an aesthetic relationship to the world or means of mediating and making coherent our surroundings such an aesthetic of certainty stability and denial of flux is foundational for a cybernetic order that functions through the elimination of otherness towards complete anger and air connectivity bleaker one War famines and summits are shown to us as short lived media events that blend information and entertain the numbing regularity raises their highly arbitrary nature. We become so accustomed to these distorting metaphors that we take it for real to begin light heart. Students of IR are here to representational and habits that have become problematic. The facts of the world emerge as relatively little practical knowledge. But finalists remain some modus operandi of world politics and metaphors of representation of dominated scholarships need to represent politics that realistically aiming to capture the word politics as it is. It really is aesthetic approach. Assumes that there is always a gap between representation of what is represented aesthetic and recognizing the inevitable difference in the very location of politics represented practices, how comes to constitute a political practice, technological reasoning. As a couple of aesthetic form of a political purview, aesthetic turn, and judges to shift away to a more diverse encounter with the political Irish scholars who uphold the notion of a neutral observance of rational object and subject realism has made the real and neutral object of desire political reality become a being through representation. Representation is a process through which we organize reality and aesthetic but embark on a direct political encounter that laid the gap between rather constituting this gap as a threat to the knowledge of political stability. The nobility of the world depends on the suspended fidelity of representation, and no social scientist can represent the political event or independently the form. Children of the distance or knowledge of the world is structured according to the objects we seek to know. Knowledge of objects was this not is structured is primarily by the Existing by the nature of our perception, orthodox approaches or ever conflicts what we know with uh, knowledge and suppose that knowledge is being recognized on external approaches. Common sense can neither explain nor emerge and be aware of its value. So, establish more to make it very difficult to locate valuable insight into the political. Specifically, the affirmative's move to mastery is premised on adaptative design and mode of world order that seeks the eradication of extremity and management of precarity through the nomenclature of diplomacy, connectivity, and global stability. The onto uh, this onto politics of design inaugurates a new individualized biopolitics that exists outside of history in a computational terrain of absolute mastery that makes escalating cycles of e economic interventionism, imperial proxy wars, and self-referential predictive systems inevitable. Duffield field 19. Risk aversion and remote management created distancing, loss of familiarity, death field uncertain Western publics now present disillusioned spectator diplomatic influence has declined and geos like them just already. It is unlikely that improvement will occur. International action lies flowed in the rubble of Europe's world's no optimistic technologically updated humanitarianism as like complex set for cheaper humanitarian design and connectivity innovations of the private partners and corporate the sponsorship and necessary recalibration give the seamless penetration of information and communication technologies software platforms interfaces all aspects of yeah, international life humanitarian innovation draws positive from disavowal past failures and commitment to following forward transparency regarding systematic pathologies part of the self cleansing necessary birth of human Humanitarianism 2.0 innovation is helping your charter to govern global per, uh, co uh, precarity and traditional privileging a design principle over the computational turn and change the way the world is understood. The ontological, cosmological, and methodological translation are taking place direct action was fabricated, a deck knowledge formation for binary narratives of the retro have been replaced by the data machine thinking, thinking is transformed into calculation dominance. That academy of empiricism of reflex is without separation. There's no political comments and critique as intellectual to share the world with others. We are all now designers to accept the world as it is rather than how to be. This is an example of neoliberalism dissolving against sapping resistance, all things out of the ground to go around the globe. 
psychological precarity, the disappearance of good jobs, the debt financing, every recovery, people within the last the economy becomes a site of permanent emergency, and you just have and personalized body politics emerge has become the zeitgeist of the labor resilience and a chronically important disaster effect of modern nature rose gender permanent emergency role is to govern an emerging global precarity, sustained precarity by optimizing its reproduction. The alternative is an Afro-political and computational aesthetic to create new forms of knowledge premised on the mediation of tech and to care for each other and the active dismantling of structures of connectivity in response to the technological paradigms. Radical changes to subjectivity, you should bet on uncertainty, disorder, and the flux of the world, not as a neutral receptor of power, but as imbued with energy and creative potential, reconceptualizing the purpose of knowledge away from mastery or monitoring to social enrichment and new collective collectivities by May 16. Computation between the ways that uh, concepts are from the conflation of the mind with the computers, the basis of current knowledge, and a search for determinants based on human decision making knowledge is reduced to people's responses to marking the idea that we'll get inside of humanity. If we apply the laws of physics, the market, if we measure the primary mechanism for the validation of truth, all sciences will be sciences of data. So, boundaries of perception are outsourced. Africans are protected from te one temporal room to the other. They behave in the way for Afro political and aesthetic and similarly the plasticity of digital forms speak to the plasticity of African cultures and ways of working with separate and full reality. The world beyond human perceptibility and knowledge was conceptual as the unbounded vista. Then the vista was divided up and distributed, have become our technology devices have become extension of ourselves. They have institutional relationship between humans and other living vital African and that had long anticipated modern and modern and new project the ways of being. A uh, clear distinction between ourselves and objects establish our relationship to what's around us. A change of result of entanglement with technologies. This convergence is the emergence of an entirely different kind of human being. This technological revolution is taking shape when Africa is perceived as a law frontier, capitalism, minerals, plants, animals, water, sign is a place where the potential for human being species still is high. Only a new reading of African violence, which understands the complex project of cybernetic interconnectivity, can move beyond the instinct towards which we're all and provide long term solutions. Harmon 14. Environment or strategy will organize or door for the Department of Defense is, defend, uh, is financing African stability part of the center's project, a digital map of Africa that locates the conflict hotspots where aid should be concentrated, climate and security stresses to determine surveillance by the use of intelligence community. Africa is the prime purpose for stress testing, threat protection, sort of the larger aim of building up borders through uh, offenses, patrols, and definition. There's an anti politics machine of scary state policies, power relations, local uh, um, realities, apocalyptic geopolitics, of failed states expanding into global terrorism. Malthusianism has long been an anticipatory virtue in which protection and scarcity of war served as a shape public consciousness, gender binaries, and racial stereotypes are crucial, ongoing appeal, crucial to the way demographic variables can be slotted in the military's war game. We need to speculate about the motives and try to do this powerful act is averting that to set requires disseminating the anti politics machine discourse by discourse in order to build a politics of peace, justice, and possibility. I have like 35 seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I might have it up to you. Circum. Uh, this is the only way to prevent the endless shift in militaries and modern God of 12. U.S. secret warfare in Africa, in addition to the military command, Africa has been distributed deploying principle for all over the continent. Run so close to 40 of 30 ships in the uh, regional military CIA command and intelligence operations. You get a person helicopter attacks in U.S. command and raise U.S. Army headquarters in Italy. America's premier already de army dedicated to Africa. The whole of Africa is surrounded by army and if you get other people to do the fighting for them. Oh, that was it. That's funny. <laughs> Nick, um, Nick will send that, that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. You get for draw six money? Um, yeah. All right, let me... It's sent, by the way. Did you read all of it? Yeah. I read green and yellow for the thing Nick said. Okay, I heard him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, uh, you good? Yeah. All right, so I kind of want to talk about the 1AC, the alternative. What would a world of the alternative look like? Um, okay, but I guess it begins with a grounding or dwelling in the inevitable gap between representation and that which is represented, which is our, and then theory kind of like baseline understanding, but the end of the card talks about how um, traditions that the alternative would agree with uh be, understand actually, actually, the way question. subjectivity has changed in relationship to technology yeah, and how those things are question, intertwined. Buddy. The, yeah. the alternative card says technological devices have become extensions of ourselves. They have instituted a relationship between human and other living or yeah. vital things. Uh, so is it saying that that relationship between humans and technological developments is bad? No, it's just our claim, uh, our uniqueness claim, and that it, it's not bad. It's just like a thing. Okay, that you kind of, that really did not like really get the boat. So, so what are you claiming is negative about the way the 1EC is approaching AFRICOM? Uh, we we have said that, first of all, the 1AC begins with an epistemology that is premised on the attempt to stabilize uncertainty, and that infects the political project, both okay, in the presentation, it, it, in debate, and, that, and yeah. in the how, how is that post-fiotic world. Okay, first, I'm going to ask two questions. First, is the Alta floating pick? 
Can, yeah. it, can it lead to solving no. the AF or like enacting the AF? Yeah, it can solve the AF, but it won't do the AF. Okay, sure. Okay, second is I'm so confused by the description. How is the US's intervention already in the status quo, not already a disruption of that uncertainty? Can, can I, I'm gonna answer. Yeah. Uh, so this, that question, the frame of that question is precisely what we are critiquing, which is that that, <laughs> that understanding of militarism as, as something that can be reduced through things like pulling back forward deployment, troop deployment, training, AFRICOM, et cetera, ignores that the new world order operates not through forward deployment, but precisely because the velvet right, glove I have, I have provided by- I have some questions about that. First is- uh, so what would what would be the alternative? Okay, so what happens if we do the plan? Do they enact more policy sales? Like, do they sell more weapons in Africa? We're withdrawal from Africa. We'll make do they go arguments back in? in the two and C about specific scenarios for shift involving like private military contractors and more like flexible yeah. forms of empire. Um, okay, um, I guess that could result. I uh, one of yeah, I guess that could be more arms sales. All right, but so then we have other arguments you have, also. You've read a card about. Okay, I, I, I'm confused on how you can make the claim that we aren't able to resolve anything when you've conceded all the data in the 1EC. You have accepted that this is the characterization <laughs> think, of what happens I think we might um, disagree or yeah, have some other issues with the data in the 1EC. That is, that is, that is kind precisely of the, the thing that we have problematized. Is yeah. that, okay. that somehow there's a connection between the reality of violence and political solutions and like a bunch of data from 2016. All right, for sure. Prep. Yeah. I love Kareem so much. Oh shit, I'm not muted. <laughs> Three minutes used.
Okay, I sent it. Um, you can flow the framing page on the K, probably. So it's going to be, oh, OK, no worries. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, did you give an order already? Oh, it's going to be the, uh, like, advantage page, and then the framing page, which, actually, yeah, framing is at the top of the K, or on the body of the K, so. So just, just the just advantage? Do, yeah, just the advantage and then the critique. Okay. Is anyone not ready? I think uh, Bernstein still needs to say. Oh, okay. No worries. <laughs> Can someone else just resend that same document in a different email? My computer's been having this issue where if it tries to open a document that already made it crash, it's going to be unhappy. Yeah, I got you. What what email? Uh, just send it to the same email. Just send it. Just like send that same document to the chain. If I download it from you, my computer will then probably let it load. For sure, I am on it. Um, okay, I resent it. Damn, this shit is 2,000 – my bad. That's a big 2AC. Sherry, Sherry's – Sherry's fast. I know. <laughs> Sherry is fast as shit. <laughs> Sherry's a beast. She's going to fuck us up. I appreciate it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Sorry, I just need a minute more of judge tech time. Oh, yeah, no worries. I think it's called prep steel time, but hands off. I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> no worries. Why is it just not? Let me try pulling up the speech doc and I'll just follow it off of my iPad and I'll just flow off of there or I'll flow on my paper still. All right. Um, I'm going to give up on word on my computer. You can go ahead. Okay. Anyone else uh, not okay? All right. U.S. training undercuts competition of African governments and upsets military civilian balance. That instability leads to generational conflict in Somalia with 150 armed groups and more than 4,500 people killed in 2016 alone. In the Sahel, abuse of power by authoritarian regimes has caused thousands of deaths each year and a 300 to 7,000 percent increase in civilian death. Training is a key, uh, unique internal link that we're able to resolve. And that's the development evidence. It conceded our descriptions of the status quo on case. That means that training is the only thing that's causing this instability. Or uh, not the only thing, but training is the largest factor causing this instability. And we know that removing it is reverse causal, and we're going to be able to resolve their instances of instability. Onto uh, decay. 
They have conceded our interpretation that the 1AC should be evaluated as an isolated artifact. That means that they can only generate offense from the 1AC's epistemology and the action, not external structures or representations or epistem. Uh, 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 well, that's Peter Clash. Anything else off the uh, shift the locus point of argument engagement, which undermines the process of debate and eliminates critical thinking and analysis. We're going to problematize their problem problematization of the 1AC. They've conceded all of the other cards that can read on the uh, on uh, on the framing ad ad advantage. Data is good and should be preferred. Our concession of the Miranda evidence means that you err off on this question. They are taking random assertions without context to indict our epistemology, but nothing in there is specific to AFRICOM's, uh, AFRICOM's training at in Sahel or in Somalia. That means that, they, uh, that that means that they don't have a way to understand prevent conflict in our specific scenarios, but only we do. That impact turns their case because they have no truth claim, but only we have predictive evidence that makes it possible to conclude any sort of causality. We're also uh, going to extend the Williams evidence. We're using the most rigorous research possible to test correlations because truth is a, is a sliding scale. You can still vote out on the question of precision of evidence. That means that it's going to affect the policy to solve conflict. That turns the truth came with a K in two ways. The first is that no two events are the same. Even all the examples that they list in their cards are about the affirmative. And you should reject their generalizations because they are net more inaccurate about what violence is happening in the status quo. That means that the alt has a lower probability of solvency than the affirmative does. And there's different explanations of power for different types of violence. Only precise research can have any explanatory power. That means that they don't get to access a root cause argument or this claim that somehow the alt can resolve the act because they don't resolve it through our specific internal link chains. I'm also going to extend, well, uh, IR is good. Information asymmetry is disadvantage. There's a lack of public knowledge over IR that leads to detachment that enables cycles of violence that they criticize uh, and, uh, and that makes the K is inaccessible to policymakers right now which makes it irrelevant but the, but uh, uh, but the one AC is able to trace back military policy while still being combated that means that it prevents activist burnout and generates movement uh even if overlap between the military and uh, debate and military is ridiculous and indisciplinary critical abilities fail they can based basis on the need to hold the state accountable rest 15. Military personnel are responsible for engagement with institutions. A critical leader should prevent the possibility of change with the institutions. Making critics and national scholars and communities critics are complex. Find the opposite view so they have waste plus exposition. Find hard to accommodate studies. Should grapple with military civilian spheres. Try to reduce the political pressure. Opposition strive for progressive changes in society. Engagement and permission to do both that solves the case. They're all essence that impact happen because the U.S. treats Africa as a frontier of capitalism. We reverse that. That's faulty. And any African is prerequisite to demilitarization. Free Freeman 18. African puts African nation under threat of military control. If U.S. African is recolonizing Africa, thousands of two hundred and thirty African countries and dozens of U.S. U.S. African policy projects are spreading interest that African independence is not in U.S. American. If China exceeds their influence in Africa, Africans see advantages of having alternative walking. They have every right to build sites, Africa, secure access to corporations, robbing Africa, resources, each and rich military crafts, which does a little benefit. The people of Africa should set up Africa as part of a possible of a peace movement to digitalize the US of the world. This is a requirement to any legitimate and genuine peace movement. And we also have to link to the K because we don't send any more troops, which is the primary uh, primary way in which the US government controls uh, controls uh, the African countries and permutation to the alt. And we link to the work evidence. We're not colonialists, but Africa is. If we were restricting a colonialist institution that controls African military. That's key to stop ontological practices of colonialism. It improves the desirability of the perfect because state action is key to end U.S. military industrial strategy and the assault is restricting uh, restrict the colonial institutions, right? 13. African leaders will need to know it. If actually you're here, the African people get to peaceful outreach out of Africa. African leaders to put American interests from Africa. American uh, lines definitely reach that drive the U.S. to get along with countering the growing uh, Chinese movement on the continent. Resources have been made to just a little division theater both in the region and international youth level. Which are useful for military to put on the terror groups have made millions of the committed actual survey under the nose of American military for Africa. And new colonial occupying forces that hard and soft hard to reach the U.S. had to make and guarantee people in the region of Africa and hard it is wrong. They say that we shifted from terrorism to health. My primary excuse for being there is still counter terror. We reverse that. That's the Meyer evidence. And the world is getting better. We'll insert 23 charts. Matthews 18. As the life on earth, getting rid of the how do you spoil it? Matthews 19. I love to see many of us are aware because humans are strong. Next to be by because we made, but the world's getting much, much better. Extreme policy can have fallen. Hunger is falling. Tyler Burst on the decline. Uh, share of income. Sometimes we have somebody like this. Retention is risen. Travel to the end. Health is a child of a consumer. People are getting taller. More people have access to malaria. Benefits. Good new hormones are eradicated. Sleep births are down. Smoking is down too. Homicide rates have fallen dramatically. They're down in the US. And the violence in the US are going away. Probably due to supply chain collapse. More people around the world live in democracy. More people are going to school for longer. Literacy is more or less is quite over. Your access to the internet is increasing. Solar energy is getting cheaper. And the alt filters no to transition to it, which is it'll, it'll the less accurate versions of technocracy that are net worse. And you took the unplanned to survive unfair. So the one I see moves to see best offense, anti educational sacrifices, clash and in-depth for cheap, cheap cost. And the new side, the agent of the all victims that are killed to see strategy makes it a moving target. Also, just by loading places, it's impossible to the app or way off offense. Just by severance is an independent voter. And even if the app so even if the all is able to solve some violence of the one I see, uh, we for sure can do. There's a certainty deficit here, and there's no root cause that each case must be accounted for. Gap nine. Attempts to find the root cause are misplaced and this is sufficient cause the world. The whole cannot be broken down into pieces. People need desires for power, for a slick to let all modern human nature have some work and be filled up. Maybe the cause. And the theory is violence makes putting global violence impossible. Norris 90. Conscious may be just about what I'm acting for the circle. People engage in local for what the Norris find themselves. Probably in a room with their competition with power in the same little conscious may be in the versus the shoulder. The theory does you evaluate all these topics. Illuminate possible by which this little may be practically affected by reality and budgets like how it indicates it'll have a moral matter that can be redeemed from what I be a clean as granting it's a reason to argument of the truth and ethical kind of critical critique and a pair of who no longer want to do battle on the public 
is being killed as a result of policies of Reagan's Bushes that are both the uh, pinnacles of the world, but possibly because of the bad hold of the modern disease rise to nihilism, and the world is imperfect, but it's uh, getting better. Uh, good luck, Justin. Analytic. And don't uh, prioritize anything over pragmatic action leaders or political change. Oh, and so too. Well, if excellent true powers have independent outcomes, it's a small amount of it, and no means clear that it's wholly dependent on these persons. Paul's rational choice media may be part of the best uh, bill of a bridge to us, higher to the ontology, epistemology, completely theory driven rather than a problem, uh, problem like a general approach to IRD, uh, turn ontology, epistemology, simulating the idea that there is only one theoretical approach to the gifts and the right of vicious cycle of rises and the alt fields abstract movements will produce the liberal results beside uh, violence, embrace the hard work of pragmatic reform, conduct for change, tackle that vision of an alternative we can call figure the historical record, raising against how they shall have the violent, that is not a movement, that should not have a potential realizable, alternative people leave the biological producers for work to invent, but alternatives and tactics in the story of the labors, intellectually difficult, if one does not provide a viable vision, the Fox News has a better offering. Also, their alt evidence does not say that it is necessarily mutually exclusive with the affirmative, which means that if there's any risk that the app is, uh, the alt isn't able to resolve the affirmative, you should vote affirmative on uh, the perm. Um, do I want to read the uh, just read this? Uh, read it. Okay. Elimination. Oh. Mm -hmm. Elimination of countless attacks away from the dragon singularity. Sound in a competition, Crucible 1. Ellen Lord, like, everyone's allowed to choose, get across the intelligence. Uh, I must say that technology will evolve to human levels simply because of our identity. Uh, the more we force our employment, uh, technology and economic imperialism will continue to work. Part of the competition, because of the safety of our society, we will force our community to because of the value of diversity. We will provide insights. We will have three applied capitalists and economic development to stop this progr uh, progression. And uh, singular, uh -huh. the singularity solves. And singularity solves all their impacts. We still, I still have a minute. Read the, read the part. What? Singularity solves cow bad, eliminates market systems and class systems, which is, uh, which is it all caused to their impact with their evidence in the case. Kerman, uh, Kerman, current nine. The future has a vision where all humanity will have millions of people can attempt to select the form of defense, attention to the day, and attack and robotics, civil blood, their understanding of the system, which can be seen as a step in the future where every house will have a potential manufacturing all the single capitalism, silver minerals, and no capitalism, government, the capitalism, the all certain tools, and ability to own the various things we require, we would all become connected, Marshall will not have the same class structure, it's philosophy on. Um, that's good. I don't know what else to say. Okay. That's good. Okay, sure. Uh, I sent the cards. You mind if we pull them up before cross X? Yeah, me too. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> Hell yes. All right. <laughs> Good, Sherry? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's five minutes. OK. Uh, the framework interpretation, how do we distinguish um, like epistemology that's directly related or intertwined with the 1AC and like what you say are external structures? What do you mean? Like, you can attack us in terms of stuff based solely on the 1AC and the evidence that we're defending, but you can't say like things writ large are problematic because we're not defending everything that exists in the status quo. Okay, so like every one of our cards has to say AFRICOM for it to be offense against the AF? Uh, sure. I, I, I like, like that seems like a higher standard than even policy arguments are held to. Oh, you know? yeah, that's funny to say, but I think that the mischaracterization of it is that you're right all of your cards say the words africa but they are all descriptions of things happening in the status quo but they are not a criticism of the process of the plan nor the resolution that the plan well, entails. that's not what your interpretation is your that interpretation. is is you have to evaluate it as a heuristic which means you in, you read criticisms to the action of the plan and the mandate of the plan and the effect of the plan you are reading I'm criticisms sure the 1AC to the effect says of Africa. epistemology of the 1ac but not external structures is that wrong did i just like misread no, no, it no no that is that is our interpretation but the, it's like the epistemology of the 1ac not of the status quo yeah but epistemology of the 1ac does not equal material implementations of the plan text so like which one well, of the no you, you can generate offense from both epistemology and action i'm confused, okay like got it but like okay. for some reason epistemology of the 1ac will never intersect with anything outside of the cards that are there but okay. no it's that your cards have to be about the 1ac's epistemology the, yeah you're criticizing africom and the status quo and some of it is like even wrong about what africom is doing in africa and can you give an example of a piece of evidence that would meet the threshold that you've just described like what what is a card that could exist that could meet that threshold what would it say 
like a card indicting the removal of Africom. Okay, cool. That, like the All right, theory behind no, that. That's, okay. that's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, you said like data right under the framework debate that we were just talking about. The two AC was like data is good and you should prefer it. It's better than like random assertions. What's like the warrant for that? Um, it's because there's no like explanatory explanatory power from these like big theories because uh, data takes into account specific scenarios that makes it possible to understand and prevent future conflicts that are similar. Okay, so aggregate data of evidence. every event in the past provide a good template for future action. Also data on the status quo. Yeah, we say data is good for providing future action. Wait, for like informing, okay. For so informing future action. Yeah, we say data is good. We'll take you up on that debate because I know that's going to be like Nick's 2 and C. Yeah, I think we're ahead. <laughs> okay, um, prep, Nick? We're going to take some prep. Um, 758. I have to take a second longer. Okay, I restarted. <laughs> nee. Oh, my am unmuted. Okay, we stopped again, I just realized I was muted, my bad. Um, is, um, are we, is everyone good for an order? Yeah? Okay, um, it's just the K. There's an overview that's not very long. Um, I'm gonna go straight down, but you should leave like a bunch of space for the perm because that's gonna be in the one email. Another sheet, depending on how you all do things. In the bottom so, of the- So like, 
framework and then like every data thing extended before, you're gonna go straight down that. Like all the data arguments at the top. What? Kareem's asking a question. <laughs> he couldn't hear you for some reason, but I heard you, so it's his issue. Okay. Sorry, what's going on? Sorry, framework and then straight down all the data stuff that was extended from their heuristic advantage, like straight down that. Um, Review and then straight down, except I'm going to skip the perm. Okay. I hate them for this. <laughs> All right, everyone can like hear me and has the document and stuff. I'm gonna switch over now, so you gotta yell at me if something goes wrong. All right. One sees the completion of a global project of cybernetic death making the useless reductions in arm cells and the reestablishment of legitimacy as a valid for proliferation of global control scheme is marked by space weapons, drone presence, and biometric surveillance as a means of simultaneously eliminating and managing precarity. This is fundamentally an aesthetic paradigm which the 2AC never comes to grips with, which works by redisclosing the world through a technical metaphysics that seeks to exist outside of history in a computational terrain of absolute mastery that seeks the elimination of uncertainty altogether. The affirmative perfectionist paradigm in the wake of traditional state state behavior, Africa has become the new terrain of geopolitical political conflicts. The 1AC resituate Africa not just as a security hotspot, but a new domain of instability for things like disease and climate change. The 1AC's obsession with eliminating instability is not a benign singular project like Kareem preemptively insists in CrossX, but rather a move to certainty, which understand the world as a series of not yet unfolding catastrophes to be resolved with technical efficiency. If we win that thesis claim, it means they can only ever reassert empire elsewhere, and the epistemic project of the 1AC misses the point of this whole new world order in the framework. We meet all the turns case analysis proves the plan is bad and internally turns all their FC skills offense because it proves their approach in IR is wrong and the impact turns their research counterinterpretation. You should be an ethical academic responsible for evaluating the one is a research project. That means if we win their interpretation it incentivizes a desire to stabilize uncertainty, you should get check negative to compensate for your own commitment to the cybernetic system. We have a, an argument that you're intrinsically biased towards you know, those forms of representation, which means you should artificially get check negative. You should consider the one is a research project that occurs within a larger system of power. That's better for fairness because the plan is 10 seconds of an eight minute speech. In that context, it's key to solving all of their clash offense. People on the right and left oppose arms sales by analyzing justifications is key to parsing out arguments. Our interpret doesn't allow word picks, and it's not unpredictable to hold the Africa accountable to their descriptions of Africa. It's worse for fairness if they can shift their explanation of international actors to evade net ground. It worse the Africa's objectivity good, which is better than anything they get against a counterplan or a disad. But their interpretation finalizes a desire to extract absolute certainty from the world to create a... Yeah, 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 their, their understanding of Africa is not neutral because knowledge is always informed by intent, which is the thesis claim that our you know, bleaker evidence makes, which means if we want to link to their description of Africa, we're necessarily overcoded by a desire to maintain imperial power. This is how the politics of design, the desire for the complete certainty functions on the micro level through the artificial schematizing of political reality within pseudoscientific academic frames. You know, like within pseudoscientific academic frames, like we have data from 2016 that says it, that high to fidelity to Western statecraft and militarism and the supposed neutrality of debates over the plan, which means they create violent activists who believe their worldview is the cosmic truth of the universe because the data says so. Bleicher says that dogmatism is the operative attitude of cybernetic intervention, whereby colonialism takes the form of tech development oil extraction and ethnic cleansing under the guise of imposing democratic truth onto the world, which means they force debaters and judges to collude in that project and mastery, which is offense on the level of framework and fiat. All of their arguments about uh, about how we have to, uh, about evidence precision and the specificity, you should understand as the precise myopia that seeks to create a new political project outside of history. The notion that all examples have to be about AFRICOM, every card we read has to be directly about the plan, is the rush towards conservative shutdown that understands the world as that, that understands conflict in Africa is isolated, a singular event. Our whole point is that it's a result of a larger epistemological stru a structure and a desire for certainty, which the 1AC only uh, reinforces. The uh, the data arguments there, uh, the, uh, it produces global genocide. Chow and Six, under the agency of fact gathering, the production and knowledge became the institutional uh, substantiate the militaristic conception of the world as target activity, the language and anthropology of only tribe and ideology, the distant development of informational part and parts of what is strategic logic to the principle that is doomed to fail, can all be derived from the war, put an end to 
of long knowledge produced in the manner of the circuit of target and ultimately consolidates omnipotent in the United States while other, <laughs> other have no choice but to remain in target to justify destruction such that you ultimately <laughs> confirm the virtual world and that was unleashed by bombs the other culture get away as target field area said he's been haunted by the problem of the vanishing object if they win that data is good it's not intrinsically offense against our argument because we haven't said that <laughs> we haven't said that information is bad but rather that the deployment of information through myopic gestures like the two ACs conservative shutdown strategies is <laughs> depoliticizing and defangs <laughs> the radical movements and often becomes a means of further imperialism. The public IR knowledge argument, they have no description for how they access this or the internal link between that and movements, which means you should be you should have a low threshold. But if we went in epistemology argument, it means they make movements that are necessarily opposed to change and, 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 and that are necessarily opposed to change. The rec card is going to be answered in the 1AR, but it has or actually no, I'm going to answer that. It says nothing, but we haven't said that pragmatism is bad. Bunny's going to talk about pragmatism a bunch in the 1AR. The prerequisite argument, Friedman doesn't say that they're a prerequisite or that they actually cause demilitarization. It just says that AFRICOM should be reduced. We can hypothetically agree with that without agreeing that the way the 1AC has done that is good. They group all of these arguments about the AFRA restricting colonialism and that being a link term. The 2AC will say that the 1AC is a, 2AR will say that the 1AC is a simple singular project, which you should understand is a failure of thought that invests in the Western fantasy of deregulation. Control no longer operates through the forward deployment and training operations, but through digitalized distance from the victims' imperialism in a Pentagon control center is meant to predict and preempt hotspots like the DOD's financing of a digital map of Africa that locates hotspots for things like disease and climate change to be targeted and resolved in advance with technical efficiency. The 1AC finalizes its remote control by presenting itself as a velvet glove for the infinite shift of militarism. They never answered any of the shift arguments. You should protect the block because the 1AR will make a bunch of new arguments and all of this is grounded in our evidence. First, we have a couple, we have a few impacts. First is stress testing. This is a Hartman evidence. The technical management of Africa is a series of hotspots provided a target for uh, free American stress testing to vet institutional, uh, to vet the institutional the strength of allied countries. The outcome will be surveillance borders and detention and private policing to stabilize states that are friendly, i.e. to fortify countries around uh, Somalia for the sake of maintaining stability. And the two is that countries shift to European PMCs, which are more dangerous. Use in 12, their personal plan for more 2000 European military personnel to be filed higher to governance, continue to higher to simply give their national military security guards to undoubtedly increase naval deployments and increase life by those who in the corporate must connect with the establishment of stable play mercenaries have jumped out of the commercial opportunity that government has chosen to try and legalize the use of private armed guards along armed guards and chip to escalate bonds to the main encourage arms rights with pride. Three is CIA black ops Mazzetti and 14. The CIA remains in charge after a troop left. The CIA is running a program to arm and train rebels. Some might want to get the CIA out of the killing business, but that's not happening anytime soon. Four is will shift to drone warfare to expand the region. Reductions are toothless. Alfred in 16, the drone base was closed. It doesn't mean the U.S. has drone wars with any U.S. has wide record of bases across Africa, at least. 60 bases with U.S. has shifted drones from the horn. This is not mean trucks are going to stop that. Uh, other threats are forcing redistribution of American resources. Obama announced roof of set up by base in Cameroon. The U.S. was also looking for a new drone base in North Africa. The shuffling of drones shows how totally integrated drones are in militarism. Only intervening on the level of epistemology can solve. You should uh, construct what Hartman re uh, refers to as an anti-politic machine and understand all of these shifts as the result of a colonial legacy of fluid empire, which produced the conditions for Somalian instability in the first place, proven by the fact that 15 years ago, uh, I guess 25 years ago, Clinton actively supported the Somali regime, which means we need to rethink state motives, power dynamics in Africa, and understand the way these conflicts are regurgitated and reproduced because of the necessity of threats to maintain the liberal system in order to resolve the 1AC. All of this, all of those things are also DAs, or are also defense to the AF that prove it gets inevitably circumvented, absent an intervention on the level of epistemology. Skip the permutation there. The Hartman indict is toothless, doesn't say anything. It just says that it's wrong about history. We have, I've contextualized this evidence to the AF, so it doesn't matter. The Matthews evidence is going to be answered by all of the tech stuff in the 1AR. Um, they have not, all the rest of this is going to be in the 1AC, or in the 1NR. But the broad thesis that the 2AC has missed that makes this debate unwinnable is that power no longer operates through horizontal cooperation but instead operates through the convergence on Africa through things like transnational corporations and deregulated finance. All of these things means that the plans attempt to deregulate, move out, remove forward deployment can only ever infinitely shift empire. Um, okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, so you say that using the de like our deployment of data is necessarily bad, but you don't say information is bad. So how should we use information in order for it to not be problematic? Our argument is that as long as information remains a way of sort of finding certainty of trying to find the singular myopic solution that the 1AC endorses, it inevitably becomes redeployed as a part of sort of as a project of imposing objectivity. Right, so, okay, sure. So that how doesn't should... mean that like numbers and percentages or whatever are okay, like Okay, how should we solve problems? Violent, huh? How should we solve problems? Uh, well, we've presented a, a paradigm for understanding conflict in Africa, if that's what you're, if that's what you're. How doing. do we resolve but also, like, conflict? The, we would problematize the notion that there is no other way to solve conflict than with data. Okay, because, sure, like, so, okay. That just isn't true. Okay, so how do we solve conflict? The, okay, this this thing, this question that is like, all right, all conflict. Boom, okay, so you solve can't it. solve conflict. Okay. You can't you can't even try to attempt to solve it. You the notion so any that attempt is, to the, no, 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 make no, no, things no, better no, no, is problematic. No, no, is what you're saying? No, that is the opposite of what I'm saying. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm impact turning the notion that anyone could ever answer the question, quote, how do you solve conflict? That makes no sense. Every conflict is unique. All of these things are intertwined in incredibly complex okay. power structures and dynamics. Okay, that have been sure. Separate. So how does so how does an Afropolitan computational aesthetic resolve that? Uh, so Bunny's going to talk about this a lot in the one AR, but it creates a new means of understanding politics in a material level and also in an epistemic How? level towards embracing the sort of contingency of all of these things. Okay, the importance of analyzing them. Uh, you know, as unique events. Okay, so... But situating them within these longer genealogies of militarism that I spent a bunch of times explaining. Okay, sure. So how do we, how do we embrace your alt? Uh, how do we embrace the alt? Like, how is it I'm, used to resolve your impact? Like, how can it resolve your impact? Uh, so, uh, like, in which way? On this sort of like epistemology side, or on the more material side? The epistemology side. Uh, so, like, the the top level epistemology thesis is that all of this stuff is because of a desire for certainty. The alternative okay, so if, begins from uncertainty and says that okay, that is so the Okay, so are you saying like proposing? Okay, so your link is proposing an idea that we say can solve things is bad. No, that is not my link. <sighs> okay. I mean, that's what it sounds like. Um, I'm sorry that it sounds that way. I, I really, I mean, like, okay. I, I, sure. I read okay. a bunch of cards about AFRICOM and the shift that'll take place post plan. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I think that is more than just solving problems is bad. Okay. I sent the cards. I sent the cards. A uh, quick thing before the one in R starts, Nick, did I miss something? Or I think that all the shift cards weren't in your two and C doc. Yeah, PMCs yeah. and then the I other card. The Nice. Oh, that, that's an issue. Okay, yes. I'm oh, thanks sorry. for asking. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I Is it cool if I send him in the body? No. Okay, I sent him. Sorry about that, everybody. Bunny, we're good for an order. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna excuse the one. Sorry for that horrible. It was um, my fault. Yeah. So the orders of permut Nick, you gotta plug in that. The orders of permutation and then the alternative and like the bottom of the 2AC line by line, that's all about the permutation. Did Can everyone- say that one more time. Yeah. The permutation and then the alternative and like the bottom of the 2AC line by line, that's all about the, the alternative.
Good, everyone? Awesome. Oh, wait, yeah, we're good, okay. We impact her in the case you don't get a permutation at uh, the double dom or, or it, it severed the spikes out of the research model and rhetorical strategy of the 1AC, which is a voter for intellectual irresponsibility and proves that the permutation is a negative argument. Um, all links are dissents refuse the colonial picture that establishes the peace and integrity of the low level genocidal violence at home against a carefully curated image of the racialized colonial other devoid of discipline, order and rule of law. Africa isn't neutrally framed in IR. The discipline uses the mirage of empirical research to provide an alibi for military presence, resource extraction and arms sales that produces the conditions for failed states and terror in the first place. Be skeptical of their apocalyptic account of regional Stability. No great power would risk nuclear war over Africa, proven by increasing Russian and Chinese investment in the region. They aren't going to vaporize each other over a resource that they all want, and the entire region has stabilized over time. No risk of African wars are drawn. Burbeck 16, Africa has presented a war with the but this is outdated. The amount of warfare in Africa has died dramatically, and most Africans are secure, more secure than ever. Africa and a call for a war too linked to Western minds over the last 17 years. Many Africans are worse than the WHO shows a 95 decline in African conditions. The world has begun less willing to sell arms over, few, over that few con conflicts over into political precision. It may take very less likely improvements are reinforcing each other. They to to work together through the institution of African Union to help deploy and deploy peacekeepers. If we win our epistemology arguments, the African only recapitulate fluid empire, which means the perm always fails. We have a couple of scenarios. The first was the shift, aside from the two and C, but additionally, CIA block after the new Africa Mazidi 14, the CIA remains in charge of the troops. The CIA is running over to remain turn over. What some might the CIA out of the killing business, but that's not happening anytime soon. Military presence is a permanent feature of the American uh, political imperial project in Africa. Removing one arcane instance of arms sales is a useless cut against a rapidly evolving and continuous nature of American techno militaries. Only we have empirical evidence on what happens when Africa. When American forces are removed from Africa, we immediately shift to the operational support we already used to help Africa, but don't sell like ships in the Bay, regional ops, CIA military campaign, secret presence, helicopter attacks, and commando raids, which are all examples from our God and evidence from the one and see that Nixon in the body of the email that they dropped. The shift jurisdiction to the CIA, the, the CIA which takes over the program under cloak and, cloak and dagger, means it makes imperialism more insidious by blurring the lines between war and peace and shifting it to black budgets, which removes oversight for human rights, makes presence, makes presence more violent, and removes accountability for the military. Um, the alternative. You should vote negative for a new computational aesthetic that dwells in the gap between language and reality in order to imagine new paradigms of world making. Only voting negative to disrupt the one AC's fantasy of neutral observer over the international arena can reground techniques in our local milieu and sabotage the cybernetic move towards complete connectivity through engaging in a diverse array of non sovereign activist tactics that capitalize on the, on the hubris of technological capitalism through hacking shortages and blockades. It's incommensurable with the affirmative. Our evidence does impact calculus. Mimetic representation acts like the Midas touch, infecting everything it comes into contact with and concealing alternative viewpoints or narcissistic faith in representation. And 23 graphs are, are only denying your own faith and representation and taking the leap of faith towards a computational aesthetic can solve. That means you should read their feasibility arguments as a false choice that nor narrows the moral arbiter of what debate can be and forces a double standard that ethically normalizes Trump while dismissing alternative forms of resistance. You have an intrinsic bias towards mimesis, which means you should air negative on all of their solvency presses because only refusing to think through representation can open up new solution to the app. That means we can do the app absent their description. Their world getting better arguments. The Matthews card says that people are smoking less and getting taller on average, which obviously isn't responsible to our argument, but this misses a point. All of the metrics that are good and bad establish according to a false standard of objectivity that operates by quantifying life into how many cigarettes Americans smoke on average. It's myopic and ignores the infinite complexity of life, which the two and C explain. The first analytic argument about why the all fails doesn't make any sense and assumes that accuracy should be the end point of politics, which we impact her in utopian fiat. Fuck fiat. I, I don't know. We don't do that. Floating picks. Cross-ex was clear that it wasn't a floating pick. I expect No, we don't have to. There's no impact to it. Cross-ex checks any vagueness in all of our framework offense and defense arguments also apply. The GAT card is woefully generic and should be rejected because it never, because they never contested our theory in any way. So the claim that it can't explain anything is warrantless conservative shutdown. And, um, um, uh, oh, it's about the re Oh, and it's about the, uh, 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 sorry, um, the GAT card is also just about the root cause of war, which isn't about AFRICOM. So under their, so under their model, you shouldn't, uh, uh, it shouldn't matter. The Norris card, wow, it's about Baudrillard and hyper-reality and is it responsive to the alternative? The Owen and Condit cards, um, our framework of epistemology arguments prove that action absent ideological considerations can only ever recapitulate our, our uh, the impact the impacts we criticize, which was uh, why the which why the old is a necessary prerequisite. But, but, but these cards beg the question of debate's relationship to pragmatism and political solutions, which were way ahead of uh, on the framework debate. Unspecific rejection of alternative political ab uh, action absent warranted analysis of why our specific theory is bad is a, a form of conservative shutdown that artificially cordons off other as or other ways of relating to politics uh, unwarrantedly, which is a bad thing. The singularity arguments, there's an, uh, it's a way, it's, it, it's a way. 
uh, the alt solves it. It's obviously a me it's obviously um, conspiracy theory. The alt doesn't destroy innovation. The point of the alternative is that it uses technology technology positively, which is our thesis about tech versus technical systems and changing our relationship to technology, not just that actual physical objects are evil. Uh, we have seven minutes. We'll start.
We're having tech issues. I might have to. I have to rejoin the meeting. So that's okay. But the camera will still be connected, so nothing sus. How much F prep was left? Three minutes. All right. Can y'all hear me? Affirmative. All right. Yeah. Sweet. There are no new cards, but the order is going to be. Hiccup, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Okay. So the order is going to be the case page. And then the K overview, the straight down NICS 2 and C. Or actually, like most of the framework stuff, and then I'll move to the perm, but I will signpost, I promise, when I move to the perm. Okay. All right. And then links. Okay. Is anyone not ready? Okay. On the case base, it's impossible for them to win when they have not disproven any of our descriptions of the status quo. All of our evidence uses data and specifically cites that that data is the most uh, precise uh, precise thing. All they're saying is that it's not true without uh, providing counter data nor accurate descriptions of the status quo, which kind of necessarily impact towards all of their offense because it proves that their, uh, their lack of data means that we aren't every, every able to solve things uh, more broadly. The 1EC has proven that just a uh, decreasing military through the failed scene evidence uh, would be able to resolve some form of instability. We're not saying that's uh, solving all structural balance in Somalia, but they have conceded that we would be able to reduce the amount of that's the, the statistically through the studies that have been done correlating training to the negative things that would happen, which frames the entirety of the, the debate, the critique, the overview cannot, uh, all of the impacts that they've, that they've listed cannot happen. They have mishandled the singularity turn. That's the moment when AI has overcome human intelligence. It's mathematically infinitely more likely that, uh, that, that, that that would happen. And they have made the claim that as per 1AC cross-sex, then they're all card, that we are moving towards being intertwined with tech inevitably. But our evidence says that that's as a result of how we have interpretation with the technology in the status quo, which they uh, change, which means that this argument proves that the intertwining between tech and humans is good because of a world of a singularity phases out inequality and advanced technology is still able to solve all of the impacts they isolated. That's the Kerman and Kissel evidence, which none of it was answered. El eliminating instability is not our claim. We are saying that we definitely decrease instability, but not that we have proven absolute certainty that uh, we have proven that training is the root cause of all violence uh, in, the, in, the rest of, in the rest of Africa. We don't perfect any paradigm, but rather we uh, uh, but rather we don't, we're not encompassing with any geopolitical landscape that exists in the status quo, but rather we have uh, proven that there is evidence that, that proves we're able to, res uh, to resolve it. The framework debate, way extend our interpretation. The 1EC should be evaluated as an isolated artifact. That's the key to clash. Anything else shifts the locus. A point for engagement, which undermines critical thinking and analysis, which is key to problem solving. The net creates an echo chamber without realizing the possibility of solvency spilling out of debate. If we win data is good, vote add because we want that our evaluations of the wrong is true and the round is true and theirs aren't. The first argument, they don't internal link turn advocacy. If we prove that deployment of data is good. Second, they conceded both the wall piece of evidence, which I'll uh, get to later, uh, but it necessarily proves that only policy options is good because it gives us the ability to learn information about changing those things and concession of the wretch evidence which says that they don't in in engage institutionally means that they'll never able to solve because uh, discussions of academia have to over overlap with things such as institution institutional engagement or else we're never able to solve and it's a terminal solve it's to the alternative they can't say that our interpretation of IR is wrong when they have not positive theory IR and they haven't uh, said anything that implicates the uh, solvency of the 1EC evaluating the 1EC as a research project is bad because there's no explanation of what that means and it links to our evidence because you could criticize anything outside the implementation of the 1EC even if the plan is 10 seconds of the one you see we have seven minutes of 50 of why the actions of the plan are good and they throw that out of the window word picks are bad regardless it's not up ground and isn't prepared to go against it because the theory that checks their descriptions of africa are bad and untrue which turns all their offense because it proves that a lack of data allows ivory tower to move in and try to make a claim about resolving structural issues while ignoring policy issues that clearly are able to solve some form of the issue but they have no evidence that substantiates anything they say they have not said one thing about the process of the plan not being able to resolve violence and we are not absolute certainty we, cri we criticize that we say that we have provided more accurate input to resolve some level of violence not that 
it is the end all be all for solving uh, violence in Somalia, but just resolving things is good, which is the like evidence that says that we can make causal claims between uh, one or two things, which means that we can verify our truth game. They link to this absolute certainty argument because they are making claims of absolute certainty about how the app plays out, which obviously is a double stretch of their theory. Knowledge informed by intent is in the status quo, but not our intent because they can see that fiat solves. We end up having sales to all of Africa, which means that they can't say that and the violence increases post plan. They're just calling us pseudoscience. It's the status quo where Trump just calls the a coronavirus a hoax. The impact is endless deaths due to ignorance, which is what the one to see ultimately when it's ultimately is. The judge has no bias nor collusion. You should air negative on evidence dealing with specific data that they have not disproven. No implication of fiat. They've conceded that we get to the A way the app and concession of wretch means that the alt they can't solve, which I did uh, which I did uh, I did above. Uh, I'm gonna go to the to the uh, the shift this stuff right now just so I don't drop it. Their child evidence doesn't say that data has to be violence, just that uh, no, the PMC is no impact and uniqueness. Their evidence in the context of PMC's existing, it doesn't say that there will be any escalation or that they will fill in or that it access our internal link. And we they've conceded that local uh, local governments are able to solve are able to fill in and solve, which prevents this uh, PMCs. The CIA evidence says that they are running a program in Middle Eastern countries and does not speak to instability. That the CIA is all short-term programs for specific missions while Africa has been there for a decade. And their drone card says that closing a drone uh, based in Ethiopia means that the US will still uh, use drones elsewhere. It's not prescribed any action to that would happen post planner internal links for Africa. I'm training. And the 2NR cannot do anything to win the debate because they conceded that the world is getting better. Their answer was ridiculous. It reverses the entire theory of power that the form of geopolitics that the US is moving towards right now is bad because we're clearly amidst of it, amidst it, and it is improving quality of life. They've conceded that the, there's negativity bias against the progress the world has done. So air F, and we have 23 charts that talk about core structural issues, which means that even if it says uh, cigarettes, it also cites things like poverty and life expectancy, which are definitely more important. The permutation, extend permutation, do both. Yes, we get a permutation, but all these arguments are uh, ridiculous. The permutation is not an argument. It tests the competition of the alternative. If we prove that uh, there is no, uh, that, that if we impact turn all of their links and prove that there's no link between their evidence and ours, then they aren't able to solve. And uh, Africa is neutrally framed in the status quo, but not by the plan. And they, we haven't made any nuclear war impact. So that impact defense doesn't apply. The Hartman evidence is wrong because we read Meyer evidence that says that all of it is training, not healthcare and things that they've isolated. I'm unclear. Oh, 723. Okay.
that, that needs to be All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, I don't know if y'all are still prepping or not. I think I think they're done. Is that working now? Can you all hear me? Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, is everyone good for an order? Okay. Um, I'm I'm just gonna do the case straight down, starting on framework. Anyone not ready? What do you see has missed the point. Cybernetics is a system that seeks global interconnectivity through transnational corporations and the artificial extension and privatization of sovereignty as a means of remotely controlling the world and eliminating uncertainty. The one he sees faith in data, Sherry's insistence that I explain how to resolve every conflict ever, Kareem's rant about how we don't have any data for our argument so it can't possibly be right, their desire for a clearly blueprinted alternative and the defense of objectivity and their evidence are all part of a cybernetic fantasy of complete order which functions through the through aesthetically redisclosing places like Africa's pure numbers and then artificially coordinating off alternative descriptions by saying things like, yeah, but where's the data? The fact that the UAC says we should get to impact turn epistemology proves that your decision should not replicate that process through a singular myopia and instead refuse to weigh the app unless they win that their epistemology is good. If we win that thesis claim, it means the permutation is incoherent because it's an all or nothing question about aesthetic orientations toward the world. The, the frame for all of this is that they have no piece of evidence contesting our theory of power or the thesis that aesthetic orientation toward the world necessarily mediate our relationship to politics because they determine how we interpolate and interact with a, our given surrounding milieu. All of these things are structuring claims that I emphasized in the 2NC that mm, Kareem doesn't come to mm, grips with in the 1AR. It means none of their ivory tower or activism arguments matter because it filters the ability for them to access any subject formation offense and it makes it structurally impossible to think outside of a given aesthetic because it's all or nothing, which means the firm is incoherent on the level of framework and fiat and proves that you should intervene on the level of subject formation as the only way to resolve any of this offense. The, the counterinterpretation is that the judge should be an ethical academic responsible for evaluating the one he sees a research project. They've conceded that that is necessary for, uh, that is necessary for all of their skills and ad advocacy skills arguments because analyzing justifications for the AF is necessary to actualize political solutions, i.e. people on the right and the left supported AFRICOM initially, but they had different justifications for it. And only understanding the one he sees a research project that occurs within a larger system of power can access any of that. All of the myopias stuff I'm going for proves that you should understand the 1AC as embedded within all of these broader structures that we have described because anything else reconnects a colonial or anything else recreates a colonial fantasy of deregulation that all of our evidence has impact turns. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go back up to the singularity argument. None of your evidence speaks to status quo interpretations of technology. It's like 12 years old. There's no explanation for how it solves our impacts or why it doesn't solve. But Bunny did a good job explaining why the, uh, the alternative reorient our relationship towards technology away from the drive towards complete interconnectivity, which makes things like accidents and the overdrive inevitable, in the, which means only the alternative can resolve it. We haven't said that technology is bad or that we destroy capitalism, which means there's functionally no link to any of uh, this bullshit. Um, the shift stuff proper. Kareem has a bunch of short answers to our cards, but none of them come to grips with the broader thesis claim that the Hartman evidence is getting at, which is that only evaluating the only only evaluating the, the function of fluid empire on Africa is a genealogical process, something that takes place over and over again because of a certain epistemic relationship to uncertainty can create a positive relationship towards Africa that doesn't seek the reshifting of militarism. They have conceded so many warrants for circumvention and the way that the militarism is redeployed to 
prop up regimes. First is all of the offshoring stuff that Bunny explained very clearly in the 1AR. Second is the PMC stuff. Their only answer is that it is that, is that there's no evidence that they want to fill in. Our evidence says that they're looking for new markets now and that the reductions in the presence by the United States uniquely creates an avenue for them to enter into the global system. All of that means, first of all, that they recreate settler, or that they recreate colonial logics of domination and that they yeah, can't solve any of their structural violence impacts because all of their evidence says that those things come about as a result of the violent institutions. The PMC's card does have an impact claim in it. And it, it says they're worse than the American military because there's less, they're less regulated, which proves our thesis claim about the sort of new era of warfare and the way that it functions. Only the alternative can solve. You should vote negative to interrupt the desire for certainty on the level of value itself. The cybernetic drive for connectivity is driven by a fearful hatred of chaos and a fetishistic attempt to eradicate difference. Only beginning politics from that difference with a new aesthetic can complicate the project on the individual and institutional level. You should not conform debate to sweeping narrative and pseudoscientific IR theory and instead create an ethical injunction towards the, uh, uh, towards the embrace of unpredictability and flux as the inevitable uh, foundation of politics. The uh, uh, They dropped it, so you shouldn't make me reinvent the wheel. All I have to do is beat the permutation now. The one error is too light on the perm, and, and all of the turns case shift stuff proves that there's no net benefit to it. You should filter it through framework because epistemology determines the ability to actualize any of our politics. Africa is neutra neutrally framed in IR, but the result of a carefully curated image of a colonial other devoid of order, they conceded escalation is unlikely because, or, or, yeah, I don't need any of that. It severs the case, filter it through framework. Uh, three minutes.
Okay. Um, the order is going to be the F and then the K. Okay. Um, is anyone not ready? Vote affirmative to substantially reduce training missions through Africa. That helps solve Somalia instability with risk escalation in an unstable country in a generational combat that can kill thousands every single year. Also reduces instability in the Sahel, which kills thousands, has escalated violence in militant groups every single year. Those are the only impacts that has any risk of solvency and doesn't depend on an out of context philosophical speculation. There is two big picture reasons to vote out. The first is that data is good. We're the only team with contextual rigorous studies with specific information with the best forms of data analysis available and empirics. That's key to any probability of solvency because we have the most rigorous research possible and it's the only way to test correlations. Because truth is on a slightly skill the more precise research outweighs there's a huge framing issue is that they have read reasons as to why data is bad sometimes that we have read reasons as to why data is good sometimes but we have also read an app that meets the standards that explains why data is good which means that there's functionally no link to their k but it also means that the app is good and you should vote on that alone but also if you can't explain cohesively what the all does based on the two and on then you can't vote negative because even if nick sounds good in the abstract there's no way for, uh, there's no way for the solvency to, for the of uh, the alternative to be more so than the solvency of the affirmative you should frame this debate in the probability of solvency because they have not contested that specifically decreasing africom is good to at least reduce instability in Africa onto the K. Extend our interpretation that one AC should be evaluated as an isolated artifact. This means that they can only generate offerings from the epistemology and action, not external structures or representation. If we win framework, then that's the reason we win the debate because they've conceded our, a, a lot of our offense here. You should weigh the app versus something explicitly that they say about the affirmative because there are infinite things that they could critique about the one say that aren't about the action or the epistemology of the plan they could, uh, or anything about the one you, could, you should hold them to a threshold where it has to be about the way that we defend the app, not the way that they say we defend it. Otherwise, it makes contestation impossible. That means that fiat is good because it's, uh, it's a good understanding. Uh, idea testing in both epistemology and uh, and uh, and the pragmatic effects of what uh, pragmatic effects of what actually occurs via the plan. That means that they don't get access to any fairness claim in those that way because that's key to make sure uh, making sure that idea testing is held to a standard by which we could actually uh, we could actually learn something from debate. Uh, uh, their, their model of debate skirts clash. That, that's proven by how they haven't gone to the case debate in the entire uh, in the entire debate. Uh, that means that our model of debate is still net better for idea testing and for information uh, and for education because we include both uh, specific critiques and apps, but they. The, unnecessarily exclude out apps that are key for us to solve their counterinterpretation is arbitrary and self-serving which means that uh, which means that you should you should default to ours because it is the most fair way for us to view uh, the debate and, and, with, there's uh, no of what a, uh, and there's no interpretation of what good research is which means that you should still uh, err off on this question uh, to, uh big uh, there's a big problem coming out of two and hours that they can see that the world is getting better this disproves all of their thesis and top level claims that they said that we have conceded because they have dropped that poverty has decreased and, uh, and a life expectancy is going up and the teen, pre teen pregnancy has been actively decreasing all these data collection processes are the way by which we are able to determine that uh, de uh, determine the causality of these impacts and show that they are decreasing this means that it is good uh, this means that the, uh, the, that the abs epistemology is good and the neg is empirically wrong because they are just disproven uh, by by the existence of how these how, how, how all these things work that means that their theory of power is wrong it means that there's it should be really easy for you to vote on an app ballot especially because uh, we should get, be able to weigh the app they've also considered that they link to their own offense because they are saying with certainty how the app functions we are not saying that we are saying that we don't think that the app is a silver bullet, but that it is net better for Africa. Uh, it is net better for Africa, even if it's not necessarily the root cause of all conflict in the entire world. A lot of conflict is still being resolved by that, which means that, uh, which means that they link to their own efforts as much as the app does. And you know that the app is still good, which is that you should go, uh, you should go app on possession, and you should hold the line to the two and our answer to our singularity term because this was conceded in the block. The extension was based on the myth that they said that the singularity was inevitable, which proves that on the long run, all the impacts of the ice that happens in the base of inequality and technological development is a face because. AI surpasses and human brain activity actively faces that all intention of competition. They have literally isolated that a world of peace is now in the long run, but it turns all their impacts about how they are shifting from the way tech is designed in the status quo because of our evidence that the driver technology in the status quo is what helps us reach the singularity. The singularity effectively faces out any competitive incentives and the driver dominate over technology is effectively meaningless uh, over competition. Uh, on, uh, I'll answer the shift is that here. It's a non-starter when they don't answer any of our arguments against it. First, they can see that our one AC evidence is that local leaders are able to resolve that and, and, and our, our, our specific ana data analysis is about Africom training, which means that they, uh, which means that their all concepts don't apply. Their PMC evidence is not in the context of Africom, not even Africa, and there's no terminal impact to it. Nick described it as an internal link. Second, they have considered imperfect but specific analysis is better than none at all, which is the one AC Barita evidence. Uh, if, if it's key for all better solutions, that FIA means that we end all FMS fails so that it can't go to different countries. Third, there's not enough of a description of what this looks like or implicates for you to be comfortable voting on it. The FS consistently said that they've considered that training has data correlated with instability, so we're able to resolve that. They've also considered the wretch evidence, which says that there's no spillover of the alternative, which means that it is impossible to solve, especially when their theory of power links back to themselves in the terms of certainty. That means that only 
the app or the perm is able to resolve any of their offense because it allows institutional engagement, which means that it is key to resolve any conflict. If we win the theory that data is good and that the world is getting better, even though we are increasingly technologically driven, then that means that it is a reason you vote app because none of their offense applies uh, to the affirmative or the way that we conceptualize how we use data. Uh, the retrospective solvency deficit to the all because it proves that it can never uh, spill out because uh, uh, because K to B becomes in it becomes an echo chamber within itself and there's no possibility of change which means that it's necessarily nihilist and the alt can't solve but the perm or the actors good debate nick i love you and i love you too bunny i love you both I think that we're all in. Hello. Hello, is Nick there? He's coming. Okay. All right, Nick, let us know when you're good. You're good? Okay. Anyone not ready for me to announce the decision? All right, so this was a really great debate. Um, really enjoyed judging it. I'm sure that David and Jacob did too. The decision is a 3-0 for the negative from CK McClatchy. So I think I probably speak for all of us when I say that that is not reflective of the fact of like how close this debate was and like how good this debate was. Um, so I can go first if that's good with the two of you. Um, so I think that the neg is kind of a, a head on this controlling narrative about how the AF uses data and 
all of their analysis about how they it predisposes people as numbers and at best doesn't resolve violence in Africa at worst leads to fill in by more insidious actors. My biggest problem is that I feel like the AF needs a defense of why their understanding of Africa is good. You have a defense of why like contingent understandings of knowledge are good and also reasons why like there is violence that's going on in Africa. But I think a lot of your strategy hinges on the fact that it sort of seems like you're not acknowledging that they're reading evidence about Africa that seems to somewhat apply to the AF. So even though they aren't reading evidence that's specific to military training program, I think they are reading evidence about the way that we understand the US military in Africa. Their Hartman evidence says that when we try to understand Africa as vulnerable in an uncertain region, we then intervene more and control, um, invade with our military, which fits well for me with their fill-in arguments, because it means that even if we get rid of training programs, then it's still like a space that's right for private military contractors to take over. Framework debate doesn't really do much for me on either sides. I think both teams agree that I can and should evaluate the epistemology of the 1AC. Permutation doesn't get developed or explained enough in the 2AR for me to vote on it. Uh, the world is getting better turn gives me like a long pause because I think the neg doesn't really have a good answer to this. And if you win this argument, I'm thinking maybe it challenges like the neg's thesis of cybernetics and poses like serious uniqueness problems for the neg. In the 2AR, you say that it means that the NEG's theory of power is wrong. Um, I don't think it means, though, that you necessarily win that your data is good. And you, um, so then I ask myself, can you still be part of like this broader structure of colonial control? I think since they're going for a case turn and they have offense that's based off of your understanding of IR, that this doesn't mean that like I totally discount all of their data arguments. Um, I already explained a lot of the data debate, the app's arguments are that data is necessary to come up with contextualized empirical conclusions, at least more rigorous research and truth as a sliding scale. I read the app's 1AC cards that are a defense of their worldview and framework. I read Walt and Barrera and Williams and some other cards in your heuristic contention, which I think make persuasive arguments about how we should evaluate contextual arguments rather than generalities. The app says the data is sometimes good and sometimes bad, which is a claim that I agree with. And I think ultimately both sides agree with, which leads me to think that it's a question of if the AF data is good or bad. And I don't think there's a great defense of why the AF uses, the way that the AF uses data is good. The PMC shift argument, I think that the AF, um, I agree with the AF that a lot of the NEGS cards are about the status quo and say that the CIA drones, PMCs are taking over control of um, Africa and engaging in secret warfare, if that's true. I don't know why the AF's impacts um, aren't inevitable, but the AF says that local leaders are able to resolve it. But I think the NEG is saying that this type of warfare is more insidious and has a risk of increasing and that these programs are looking for new avenues. So I think leaders won't be able to stop it and that they will maybe increase and will likely increase instability. The singularity turn, your Kurzweil evidence that the AFREED says that we need to repeal capitalism to prevent the technological development needed for singularity. I think that the NEG, um, I don't think that the NEG does that and that it's not unique offense for the AF since your evidence says that it's like basically inevitably gonna happen. Um, I think that the NEG should have like a clearer external impact and that like a lot of this debate just gets like so messy and hard to resolve because it's just like both teams, like two ships passing in the night being like data should be like contextual and we should like understand truth as a sliding scale and the NEG being like, well, like your understanding of Africa is bad because of like colonial control and then the AF being like, well, we should be contextual and then like it's just really hard to resolve that. So I think like having um, sort of a clear external impact for the NEG and for the AF just having more defenses of like why, um, like the way that you have understood the world, like in your first contention is good, would be helpful for me. I can go next. Um, I'm super similar. Um, so I don't really have too much to add. Um, on a broad level, I don't really think the AF has a, a super specific answer to the NEG's theory of power. Um, and although that itself is not damning, kind of on a technical level, uh, the NEG ends up winning a little bit of offense on the link debate, which is kind of framed as like a solvency takeout to the AF. Um, I really want to reiterate what Emily said about like two ships passing in the night. This debate would have been a lot easier to decide, I think, if there was a little more direct clash. Um, basically, like as early as the 2AC and the 2NC, you were both accusing each other of like completely not engaging with the other side, um, which is a little bit of a weird look, especially that early in the debate. Um, but yeah, I basically agree that there was kind of like a tie on the framework debate. Um, I'm going to weigh the AF kind of versus the alt. Um, I wish the NEG had 
done a lot more link debating that was in the 2NC to get into the 2NR. Um, some of this like Chow, Bliker, colonial imaginary type link arguments would be helpful for you here in case you don't win some of this PMC stuff. Um, I think, I, yeah, I, I guess like the short of my decision is like I vote neg on the PMC disad basically outweighs, outweighs and turns the AF. Um, I think the European PMC's card is pretty good in terms of making like the, both the reverse causal argument that they want that says that PMCs will kind of jump on a financial opportunity, um, as well as like, I think your Friedman evidence, your AF solvency evidence just like isn't quite as good as you're giving it credit for. Um, especially in the fact, well, it's not that the evidence itself is not good, but that it says that military presence, like US large scale military presence is kind of an alt cause to the AF's internal links. And they read a bunch of cards that says the US will inevitably have like Navy ships all over Africa and like this huge drone base in Italy or whatever it is. So like your own solvency evidence is kind of spotting them the solvency takeout they're going for. And then I think they went a little bit of like net offense on maybe PMCs are worse, more nefarious, um, harder to uh, regulate and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the, the problems, the biggest problems for the AF strategically are like the just lack of time allocation and maybe a bit of a 1AR, 2AR disconnect uh, on the perm debate and the alt debate, I think for me. Um, the 1AR really doesn't get to the alt debate very much at all. Um, and uh, in terms of the perm, like it's just like it doesn't, it's not explained enough in the 2AR. Um, it's a, just a bit vague on how it incorporates both. Like this is certainly, I agree, the right push for the perm. You want to go for this in the debate that, in this debate, that the AF is kind of a first step and we can incorporate their theory of power and do the AF as well. But you're just a little too vague on that. It was kind of at the end of the time. Um, and yes, like the world getting better argument, I agree with what Emily said. And I also thought it was confusing. I want to add that like I, it, it confused me that you all were making these arguments as well as your like strong specificity push. Like if the neck had just been like, I don't know why we care about this if we're just only caring about Africa, like what happens about it. AFRICOM in these specific regions. I'm not really sure how much this gets you. I get that you're saying that it takes out their theory of power, but like you're framing that as a specific question. <clears throat> and they kind of have an indict of it too. Um, the, yeah, the only other thing, like the singularity turn, I think you need to address that the alt solves it. I wasn't ever really sure what the utility of it was other than like an alt cause to like it, alt's impacts are inevitably going to be solved. Um, but again, it like has the specificity problems that you all are trying to indicate is like, yeah, I just, I'm not really sure what the utility of it is and you need to address, there needs to be more of an alt press if you're gonna get around that the alt solves it. That's about it. I don't wanna interrupt just like in case I forget this question, <laughs> but for like, uh, I, I just have two questions real quick. So for the singularity turn, if it's like inevitable and like even if the alt solves it, but like the argument is that like, achieving the singularity like phases out like the impacts like why doesn't that mean like why does that mean they have an external impact yeah well like first of all i think when you say it and when you say the impacts it needs to be more much more described than just like that level of explanation in the debate um i, I think you need to just like use language that the neg is using or at least like refer to the the specific scenario about africa that you all are saying is like super specifically important. But <clears throat> the bigger problem is that like, they've said that they can, that the alt can create a kind of relationship to technology that allows us to still like develop AI and, you know, get the positive benefits of like how it could solve inequality, but in a, you know, in a way that's more aligned with the alt. And although that's super vague, like the lack of 1AR coverage on what the alt does means I kind of don't really have a choice, but to like accept their, their argument on that front. That's and my right. second question, I guess, like applies to both of y'all. Um, oh, it's just like, why is uh, the impact of instability in Somalia and Sahel, like, why didn't that apply as a reason that data is good? I understand that there's a disconnect, but like, I'm just asking, like, how could we alleviate that? Or like, I guess it, I'm just, yeah. I. I guess I, I didn't really vote on data bad. I voted on the plan, like removing troops from Africa is bad or removing training from Africa is bad because it causes PMC fill in, which is worse. <clears throat> so I don't really think it's like a, a data thing. Maybe I'm not really understanding your question. No, oh, sorry. I just thought, I just thought you said like, 
that you agreed with Emily. So I was just asking that for both of y'all, just if you had insight, it's really no. Yeah, I guess for me on the data question, um, I agree with what Jacob said about um, like the external impact, like removing troops being bad. But also I think it connects to sort of what he was saying at the beginning of his decision about like under um, having a more like robust answer to their theory of power and understanding the world. Because if they win that the way that IR portrays and understands Africa is always through this like drive to portray it as uncertain and demand data in order to like better know it, which is I guess like somewhat separate from like the PMC fill-in debate, then I think that they win that like the way that you have portrayed Africa sort of fits in with that. So then the way that you answer that is by like contesting their sort of theory of cybernetics, data, control of the world, and having defenses of the way that like you've portrayed Africa. Because I think you have defenses of like having contextual understandings good and like having policy debates are good. And then I just like, I don't feel like there's that much of a defense of why your understanding of conflict in Africa and instability in Africa, I just don't feel like there's really a defense of that. So if you have like, um, I, I don't even really feel like like the way that you like explain how you get to the data is defended. I can toss in my thoughts because my decision came down a little bit more on this data front. I definitely agree with everything that Emily and Goldschlag have said so far about the PMC fill in stuff. And I did also conclude negative on that part of the debate. But I also thought the negative was ahead on some framework stuff, primarily because I just think the affirmative interpretation that starts in the 1AC has some issues because the of like 1AC interpretation on framework is the 1AC should be evaluated as an isolated artifact. Negative can only weigh offense to the 1AC specific epistemology and action. I think that the negative has demonstrated that the specific epistemology of the 1AC is bad. I think that the reason I concluded that way is I think that the data good stuff doesn't end up serving enough as AF offense because I think the negative argument is not purely data bad. I think that the negative argument is excessive reliance on data as the only mechanism by which we are able to resolve problems, including instability in Africa, is an epistemologically bankrupt and inaccurate view of the world. And I think that then the 2AR argument where you say like data can be good in sub instances is actually the negative argument because the affirmatives like when you see evidence, even though it is saying like truth operates on a sliding scale, is essentially saying that in order to be policy relevant, in order to be considered, in order to like be an accurate form of knowledge that should be considered. It has to be grounded in strong data. I think the negative has said, like, strong data can be okay in some instances, but that demand for strong data above all else then reproduces this, like, epistemologically bankrupt view in the context of Africa, because that is then what justifies what the Hartman evidence is talking about with this, like, perpetual mapping of the African continent that then means that we're having this drive for control. I think that there's, independent of that, there's just an epistemology argument about why you shouldn't invest yourself into that system. I think that the specific epistemology of the 1AC, like I'm trying to justify like, what does it mean to weigh the AF when the AF has also said that epistemology is a relevant consideration. And I think that I ultimately just think the epistemology of the AF is not a good one and not one that I should endorse because it either means we exclude anything that's not dependent on data or it just means that we end up reproducing colonial tropes because we presume that when we are withdrawing that everything is gonna be happy. But instead that, I think it's an author that starts with a T, the one in our card that says like that reproduces a more insidious form of violence, I think is a separate DA based on epistemology that says that the epistemological, the specific epistemological investment of the AF produces a negative consequence by making it so we have the language that Nick was using of this like velvet glove disad that essentially says that when we're able to pretend to ourselves that we have like reduced presence and therefore reduced instability, then means that that epistemological investment is a bad one because then it allows for the PMC felon to happen later, which means that you have a separate argument that says you actually produce more neo-colonial tropes if you do this withdrawal and then pretend everything is okay, which means the epistemology of the app is bad. 
and also then proves that the action of the app is bad because that epistemological investment then is the route by which PMCs or CIA black ops are able to take over the continent and end up reproducing more violence. So that was where my decision ended up coming down. I think that the epistemology, like conceding to some extent that the negative gets to say the epistemology of the app is bad, puts you in a tough spot without the affirmative having an argument about why consequences need to matter more. I think if the app had won that consequences of our epistemological orientation are the most important thing and then uses that along with alt presses that emily and uh jacob alluded to earlier puts you in a better spot but when you just say quote unquote weigh the aff but you've also made the argument from the 1ac that the negative can get arguments for why the epistemology of the aff is bad i'm just left like kind of not knowing how to adjudicate what that means. And when both teams have agreed epistemology is a relevant consideration, I think if the negative wins a disad to the affirmative's epistemology, that's a sufficient win condition for them. Any other questions we can help with? Anything else? Uh, I just, I, I, do you have one, Sherry? No. Okay, I just have one more. Um, that decision made sense. This was more about the PMC's argument. So like, what about like the answers were ineffective? Like, is it just like, yeah, I'm just like confused. Like what didn't we, or how should I phrase this how better? Yeah, like how best could we have answered the PMC's argument that we didn't do, if that makes sense. Yeah. I just like, don't really think you have a card about it. Like none of the 1AC cards make the reverse causal claim about PMC's that, that you need they have a card that does make a reverse causal claim. Like if they didn't have a card that makes a reverse causal claim, I, I think you're doing okay. But really it's just, I, I think it's an ev thing. I don't know if other people disagree. Yeah, I think that's part of it for me. So to me, like your main answers are, leaders are gonna be able to resolve it and it's inevitable. And I agree that their evidence does somewhat seem to say like this is already happening so i think if you have evidence that says um either like it's not going to happen in africa that these pmcs like they don't care about africa that there's no benefit to them for investing there um, or if you just make those arguments i think you just need some sort of defense to like why it's not gonna happen because I don't know, I think even if they win that it's, even if you um, say that it's inevitable and PMC's drones inevitably are gonna fill in, then I don't know why that doesn't take out your like crisis, instability, uncertainty, sort of arguments for the advantage and make that inevitable too. So I think you just need to win that like, it's not gonna happen, they're not gonna fill in in Africa. Like I assume that this happens in like policy debates that you have too, where people make these sort of shift arguments and then you just need to win that like, these PMCs aren't actually gonna do anything. The, I totally agree with Emily, everything that Emily and Goldschlag were just saying. I think that in this 1AR and 2AR, if you like don't have a card, you can still do comparison that says, here's why we are still able to solve a sufficient amount of the app, even if they do win this PMC fill and stuff. Because I mean, your 1AC is built around, here is our data of the exact numbers of people that are dying every year and the numbers of civilians. You can then do that explanation where you're like, look, they may win some risk that there will be a fill-in, but we have one that at least 3,000 people less will die every year. Sure, post AF instead of like, 3,000 people dying per year, it's 2,000 people dying per year. That's still an amazing point of progress and proves why specificity should matter more in this context, which then I think would put you in a better spot against just like PMC fill in equals your app is bad. I think that I was a little bit less neg leaning than Emily and Jacob on some of the fill in stuff, mostly because I was struggling to adjudicate if they're like if the negative evidence does reach the level of terminal defense or if they are able to prove that there will be more deaths. I think if you're just in the 2AR, you say like, we have evidence that says this amount of deaths are caused directly by training operations. You know the plan solves those. Even if there may be fill-in in other ways, the negative has not shown it is worse than the plan, which means that worst case scenario, this is some defense, but it is not offense. And then explain like, go through their evidence and say, here is why this is not a good enough offensive warrant for them. 
And I think you can be in a better spot just saying like the line of, even if the F isn't a silver bullet, if we're able to prevent 10 more people in Africa dying, that would be preferable than the fear that there would be this some weird insidious shift that could potentially produce more instability on the continent because I'm not positive that's going to be happening. The other thing I would throw in there is that I think you can like, I guess a specific example of that use, like tell me a little bit more of a story about this local leaders are empowered argument. Um, like you just say that sentence a couple times, but if you tell me how they get empowered and especially how they would be able to like resist PMCs, like if they had more power to veto operations and you had evidence that said they didn't like PMCs or something like that, um, then I, I think you can tell a story even in the absence of a card uh, that lets you push back against their kind of shift arguments. But I also think like the, the solvency cards, these Friedman cards, as I read them, um, and not that it really mattered for this decision, but they kind of allude to like, it seems like they're saying that the training operations are more of like an example of US imperialism and that overall US military presence, you know, the Navy and all of the like stuff that the negs all cause warrants are like, it seems like your cards probably agree with those. Um, so I, I, I think you, yeah, I think telling a little bit of a story about the local leader stuff and getting like, having, having a way to like make that work with the specific warrants they're going for is, is probably, would probably be enough. Yeah, and just one more thing to add is that I feel like in a lot of these debates, like it's really easy for policy AF internal link change to just disappear. But I think kind of connecting to like what David was saying, I think like explaining a little bit more your internal link chain to like how you get from this military training program in Africa to like being able to resolve like X number of deaths or make violence less likely, uh, being able to explain like how that happens, I think would help so much because like that internal link is just non-existent really in like the 1AR and 2AR and like really not much beyond the 1AC. But since this is an argument that's about like your case, if you're able to win that like your internal link chain is still true and you're able to like resolve some amount of material violence or still have that impact, then you um, exactly like um, Goldchog and David were saying, like you have that to weigh against their turn. Right. Thank you. Good luck, Nick. Good luck, Alice. Thank you. Bye. 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 Glad Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. See y'all. Right. See ya. Thank you. Good luck, y'all.